welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? A room service menu. All right. Ralph Kessler. Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sick in the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Must be pretty boring around here with the park closed. Not really. In fact, I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed. Even agreed to a pay cut. So you're not intimidated by all this curse stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that these so-called accidents are really the result of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy or some such gobbledygook. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, You'll get scurvy or something. Where can I find her? First things first. You won't be meeting her or Elliot Chen, the park's art director, until after you go see the park's bookkeeper, Joy Trent. Miss Santos' orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Lets you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Am I not supposed to have this? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? 
We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here, all queued up. I'll see you around. Go get him. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. First chance I get. Great. Feel free to inspect the tracks all you want. I'm sure you'll do a better job than the police. They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I just as soon get this little farce over. Excuse me? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Right. Um, I'm supposed to get an access card from you? Here you go. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Hmm, maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Hidden jewels. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist.
Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. Oh, my. You've got B3 issues. I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Harlan Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. Are you sure you're an engineer? Got a Bachelor of Science degree from Ohio State and everything. I like surprising people. Unpredictability is what makes life interesting. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessler, he said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. And it has. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Any idea why someone would steal a horse off a carousel? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha <laughs> ha. Carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw!
Who are you? And what are you doing? Who said that? I said that. Over here, on top of the cabinet. Keep going. Over here. Please identify yourself. Well, uh, my name is Nancy Drew. Digital representations of your voice and image have been entered into my memory circuits, Nancy Drew. How come you didn't speak up before when I was in here talking to Joy? I cannot interact with my environment when my visual and oral sensors are covered. Do you have a name? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? As a matter of fact, I need to leave a message for her. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Hmm, looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. You know, I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Maybe that's why someone stole that carousel horse, because there were jewels hidden inside it. My thoughts exactly. I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place. Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin.
Hello? This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said a concern that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. That would be fantastic. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Well, Miss Destructo returns. You talked to Joy? Imagine my surprise when she told me you're a detective. Amateur detective. I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. How do you explain what's been going on around here? What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen. The replacement? Right. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing, because that would be ridiculous. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Great. Thanks. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent, she's like invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that Renacop, I've got no desire to see anything of him. Why do you say that? Dude is way too eager to make my business his business, that's all. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. to start crawling. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Wonder what that is. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. I can't reach it.
There, that looks right. It's locked. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator, doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, I try. Has he always been behind? I guess he was doing okay up until about a month ago. Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. I'll see you around. Have fun. This looks like one of Joy's. Ow! I'm trapped! Uh-oh! To get my foot loose, I need to switch the trap. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. If I play this game, I can win a seahorse. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch. You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach.
it. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in the ballroom. Like it's coming from below. It's locked. Hey, Bess, it's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George, good, you're there too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? I met the security guard, Harlan Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Pess, what difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. I read that somewhere. Either read it or saw it on Oprah. He's from New Jersey. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, I guess that's not surprising. But if he was evasive? We know what that means, don't we, Bess? Suspect, Suspect list. I think I might know why somebody stole that horse off the carousel. They were looking for jewels that had been hidden inside it after a hotel robbery. Hidden jewels? I love it! That's almost as good as buried treasure! But if they recovered the jewels, why is the carousel still going around by itself? I'm not sure yet, but the detective who is in charge of investigating the robbery is helping me look into it. Don't let George discourage you, Nancy. I, for one, think you're on the right track. You can never go wrong when jewelry is involved. Did I tell you that I met the park's chief engineer? No. Is he cute? Well, for starters, Bess, Ingrid Corey is a she. That's cool. Does she know her stuff? Seems to, although she doesn't seem to know where the blueprints for the roller coaster are. Uh-oh. Hiding something, perhaps? Looks like your list of suspects just got longer. I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? Joy Trent has a computer in her office that sees, hears, talks, and interrupts people when they're snooping. And you, of course, were snooping. Well... That's our girl. Why does she have such a sophisticated computer? This thing is not that sophisticated. In fact, it looks like it was made out of spare parts. Do you think Joy made it? I doubt it. 
Well, the next time it catches you snooping, just smile sweetly, then rip its little plug right out of the wall. I finally met the park's art director, Elliot Chen. We kind of got off on the wrong foot, but he's real friendly to me now. But is he too friendly? That's the question. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to deflect suspicion by making nice. That could be. I do get the feeling he knows more about the carousel than he lets on. Uh-oh. Sounds like another candidate for the... Suspect list. I almost got creamed by the roller coaster when I was on the tracks looking around, and I don't think it was an accident. Someone tried to kill you? Ouch! I found one of Joy's chewed-up pencils just before it happened. What do you think that means? It means she's going to be paying Joy a visit. That's what it means. I found a very odd-looking device under the carousel. I'm willing to bet that it's the reason the carousel seems to be turning on and off by itself. So whoever put it there must know a lot about electronics. Like that chief engineer person, maybe? She'd be my next stop. Catch you guys later. Keep in touch. Keep up the good work. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. I discovered a hidden door in the haunted house. Is that right? Unfortunately, it's locked. It's obvious you don't put much stock in curses. But a word to the wise? There really do exist some doors that no one should open. I'd be very careful if I were you. I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park, even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I think somebody just tried to run me over with a roller coaster. You're kidding me. You know, Nance, much as I hate to see you leave, you should probably be telling this to RoboCop out there, not me. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. Hello? Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Hi, Nancy. Uh-oh, does Joy know you got one of her pencils? I hear she counts them. Actually, I found it near the roller coaster, just before it almost ran me over. What? Are you all right? I'm fine. I'll head over there and take a look as soon as I can. In the meantime, maybe you should just kick back for a while, you know? Go to the hotel, put your feet up, order a burger. I might just do that. Go get them. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry. My cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? 
I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. Hmm. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Need something? Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work. I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy! While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note, you know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. I was just trying to do the job Ms. Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Why does he call himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. What a wonderful gift! I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so... Not gutsy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn up something in the course of my investigation. Do what you want, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Feet. That's a lot of wood. <clears throat> Would it be okay if I took some tape? It might come in handy. Help yourself. I 
can use this to measure. Could I have some of these tissue strips? Be my guest. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that, thank you. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon. Silvery, as in spoon, get it? Elliot, you're a genius. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. No prob. Oh, that was so good. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Have fun. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Miles, in the riddle, you said something about telling a truth long since put away. You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No, my father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh, I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. 
That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be right here. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. I think a mouth organ is a harmonica. Correct. The music you hear when you ride the Captain's Cove carousel comes from the band organ that sits inside the rider platform. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> It's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. There's a cabinet in there? That's right. 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here in the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. I wonder what goes on this spool.
Let's see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. The take-up dowel is broken. Hello? Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. I can't open this without the combination. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Wonder what's on here. Hmm, I'll just play it and find out. Looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. I better put this back where I found it. It's locked. Call L.H. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Wow, that's one expensive watch. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess. I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. That's a poppy dada. Those look like horse tails. Hmm, 
If Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Glad to help. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. And what did you tell her? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multimillionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? 
Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Garris. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I'm not sure yet. Would you happen to know what prison he was in? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me any time. I'll let him know. Thank you. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Time to play Squid Toss! In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Oh, looks like it's out of order. How goes it? Any advice on how to go about fixing the midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I I've talked to him. I don't really know him. What did you talk to him about? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Are you really going to tell me that you can afford a $20,000 gold watch on the salary you earn working here at the park? All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? 
Well, it seems that one of the security guards has been doing a little extracurricular surveillance work. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. This is Barnacle Blast. After this, you'll have just one fun credit left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship. Rawr.
Hey, Nance. What's going on? I noticed you have a poppy daughter. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Wow, a lathe. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. That doesn't look right. Better leave these goggles here. looks perfect. Better leave these goggles here.
Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust. Which I hadn't, by the way. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it, anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. What was that? I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Hooray! I remember that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over, always the same horse, always the same black horse. You loved the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember. The name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. Glory. That's right. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you loved the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. 
But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. Can I answer your question? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Roth Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. Did you ever read the book yourself? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Do you by any chance remember Amelia's nickname? Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm curious, who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids, daring each other, doing stupid kid stuff. Or maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name, Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names, painted them on their bridles. Have fun fishing. I'm trying. Sukov. Hi, it's Nancy Drew again. I have another question for you about Rolf Kessler. A very important question. Let's hear it. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. Thanks for all the info. Glad to help. Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Have you seen him since he's been paroled? He comes to my office once a week. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. It's locked. Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. It's been red tagged. Oops, no power.
Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red-tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. arm is missing. That looks tight enough. Oops, no power. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Have fun. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. It's locked. take these with me. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. <gasps> that must be Joy's mother. She was beautiful. So much for the stairs. This was Kessler's workshop. 
I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? Nancy, 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 what have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds, real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch. Hey. I've got to get out of here. Trapped! I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. Ah! Uh -huh! Soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale-watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. This is going to be awesome. Bye.